Okay, not sure which video this is, if it's the first, the last, the second, the fourth, the fifth, whatever. But we're gonna, we just finished cutting all the rotted parts out, rotten. So now we're gonna clean this up a little bit. There's a lot of pressure Okay, got mine. $13 smoothie, two rusty nuts, the ambulance, the welder. What does that mean? Okay, so these straps do nothing. I don't know what they're for. I, I'm guessing that they used to be attached to this part of the boat and they detached themselves. So those are done. Oh, well, I was gonna say it was almost attached. Done. Okay, we got her pretty well cleaned up, at least enough where I can start measuring these holes and figuring out how big of panels I'm gonna cut and figuring out what kind of braces I'm gonna use for underneath these seat posts. What I'm kind of thinking is I wanna take a piece and have it sit under this lip right here, right? Have it sit under that lip, come across, and then lay up against here. And then when we put our piece down, we'll have it you know, screwed to that bottom side, do some uh, fiberglass work, and then that'll be that'll be pretty secure for that seat i need to get inside there clean all that out which as soon as i start touching that with the vacuum it's just gonna clog up so then i need to figure out a place to mount because this bilge pump needs to be it's even got a bracket yeah so the bilge pump should be attached right and at, be at your lowest point uh, and then over here i just need to get in there and clean that out and decide what I'm gonna do for, uh, you know, if I wanna make that like a compartment or what. So, and this was extra. It's just kinda laying in here. So, it's a it's a ground strap is what it is, or a ground, you know, hootus, but it was never actually attached. If it was, I can't see where it was actually attached to. You know, it looked like it was sitting there, but. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna clean this up just a little bit more and then start cutting out my patch panels, which I'm sure you don't want to see me cut out patch panels. It's kind of boring. <laughs> okay, I promise you I'm not getting sidetracked. I'm just making better use of my time. So we're still on the cleaning process. So I moved our seat over, flipped up our cushions, whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to clean this area right here. And I'm going to clean that area over there. And then we're going to start hooking stuff back up on the engine. So we got to hook up our coolant lines. They're disconnected on both sides. And then that one down there that goes to the heat exchanger for the oil cooler. Fuel pump, I got one coming. There should be another hose. Yep, there's another hose right here so we gotta find clamps hook that up prime out my trim thing we'll clean up the battery area and hook up the batteries or at least one battery and then after all that's done we'll start doing our stringer pieces so my idea is i'm going to take some two by fours and we're going to cut it to where it's flush with that 
and then we're just gonna run that every six or probably 12 inches on center. That's my citronella candle so the mosquitoes don't eat me alive. And then we're gonna take either a two by four or something and we're gonna have them under this side. We'll cut it, cut it right here so it'll be flush. And then we'll do that all the way across where this, where this indention is. Right, do that on both sides. It actually fits a little better on this side. I might have to cut it to fit over this stringer right here to get this to go all the way down. But yeah, same thing, cut this. And this will be all the way across. And then we'll lay our plywood piece on top of it. And then that one we're just gonna lay, I guess we're just gonna lay a piece of plywood over here, finish that off. And then this piece, I still haven't decided if I'm doing a new piece or using the old piece. If you look, the old piece has those braces on the bottom, so it's gonna be thicker than just putting two by four on there. So, and then this one, we need that half inch to make it level both sides of the existing stringer. So, yeah, I gotta figure that out. All right, we're cleaning this by hand. And I'm not doing it on camera. All right, real quick, I got a fuel pump hooked up and eventually, eventually this pump will be mounted. I think I'm gonna mount it like right here, but I'm not sure yet. But we're gonna transfer whatever fuels in this tank. I've got a tank on the side of the boat that it's gonna go into. And this filter that's on here will let us know the condition. This filter will let us know the condition of the fuel that's in it. Let's wire this up and see what comes out. The only problem is the boat's leaning towards the bow and we need it to lean towards the back, depending on how much fuel is actually in here. It's not looking like, I was fairly certain I filled it. Cause usually when I store these, I fill them all the way cause it's less chance for the gas to go bad. But there doesn't seem to be anything coming out. Yeah, there's nothing coming out. Let me raise the back of the boat, or the front of the boat. We are definitely sloping this way now. All right, so let's, let's see what we got. Let's this tank. This key is horrendous. Nothing. Let me drop the fuel pump below. Ordered out. I still got nothing. This thing must be empty. There's like nothing. Nothing. Do I have it hooked up right? In, out. Yep. Okay, well, I don't really particularly want to burn up a brand new pump. We're either assuming it's out of gas or I don't know what. It's either out of gas or it's clogged. Oh, it's a mosquito party. And I'm the number one guest. I'm gonna burn myself on the citronella. Kinda don't wanna take this off. Cause I'm afraid what I'll find. Fuel. Nothing. We even sure we got good connection. I don't think that thing works at all. I think the battery might be almost dead. Let's check the battery. Okay, so I've determined we've killed the battery. Um, it's on the charger right now, behind me. Now it's pumped in turbo mode. Still no fuel's going through. I wanna get this hose off to make sure it's not clogged. I don't know what's clicking behind the dash over there. It's probably why my battery died. And we're running out of light. What the hell is that noise? That's the subwoofer. Why the hell would the subwoofer be making noise? I don't need the boat to be on charge the battery or use the fuel pump. Are you gonna watch him die? Look, there he is. See him squiggling around? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. What's going on with you? Okay. I think 
think it's getting cut. Oh, is it coming off now? Yeah. There it goes. What's inside there? Anything? I think we need to do the, the blow through test. This is going to be gross. Yep, it's stuck somewhere. Thinking it's stuck right here. No, it's not. Okay, what about, that looks like a bunch of water and stuff in there. Oh, can't be good. No, oh, here comes the gas. Yep, it's gotta be this filter. Wow, yuck. Yeah. Something's up. <sighs> Can't even blow through it. It's got to be this filter. I think these actually come apart. And <coughs> we can clean them. It looks like there's some kind of gel in there. Let's hook this back. Let the drill this hole out. Bigger. One day. I should probably do it right now. Drill the hole bigger. Let me go get another fuel filter filter required it is not a brand new filter definitely not clean as long as i can get some something out of this i already did the blow through test on this one it works let's see if we can get anything out of this i hear nothing not seeing nothing Nothing. Okay. At this point, I'm going to get a five gallon gas can and uh, try and put some gas in it to see if we can get anything out of it. So let me go find some gas. Okay. It's dark. We're just going to do this real quick and then call it. But I just finished putting five gallons of gas in there. So we should see something now. Nothing. Are you serious? What is going on? Do I need to tighten up this thing or what? Oh, brother. It's gonna make me siphon this. Oh, I hate doing that. I really hate doing this. Let's see if I can blow anything. Well, that's not good. Man, this thing's full of gas. What's the deal here? It's so full of gas, it's freaking coming out. Fitting clogged? So I'm gonna have to plug this. Is that my way? This is our problem, right here. Oh, I hate that. Okay, now <laughs> I gotta plug this thing or let the, I guess I can let the front of the boat down. Oh, not fast enough, not fast enough. All right, let me let the front of the boat down. Okay, we're on the bench. We're about to break this thing apart and see what the hell is going on. Okay. Let me bring this thing apart. got a check ball in it okay well that's good I guess except for does it work yeah it works okay well that's that's why I couldn't blow through it mm, it was a little crusty in there 
Oh, I hate doing that. Let's put this back. Hold on, should I clean this check ball? See if there's any boogers inside of it. A little bit. There's something right there on the top. Yep. That must have came out when I blew into it. Let's put this back. You know, we know it works, it just has a check ball on it. That's why you couldn't blow in the tank. That's good because it keeps the fuel system primed. All right, let's go back to the boat. The Z's still here, we didn't lose it. Okay, this tank, hold on. All right, this tank is full full. So we're about even. And I just press on this a little bit and that fuel's coming out. So, our check ball is doing its job. Now if I could just, I don't know why I have a clamp that's freaking five times the size it needs to be. Let me go get the right size clamp. And this is why people like AN fittings. Because it eliminates the need for all these clamps. I'm gonna be fighting this piece of wood. I'm trying to get Hose on. I got hose. Tighten her up. Uh oh. What was that? It went rolling down. Probably something I need. Come on, man. Give me some freaking fuel. Oh, there's fuel in there. A little, little bit, a little tiny bit. I'm really concerned if this is going the correct way. Nope. It is. I don't think that's a seal. Can you even see what I'm doing? Oh, here we go. There it comes. I must have had a leak. There it goes. Okay. It doesn't look terrible. You know what? We can't really tell in this light. There's no way I'll be able to tell if this fuel is any good in this light. We should abort and call it a night. Uh, I mean, now we got it working, so I'm happy about that. So I just need to make sure when I hook this up final, this is not the filter that's gonna go on there. I'm gonna have a another filter to make sure all my connections are, are tight and good to go. But, um, oh. All right, well, if you made it this far, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, now that we got a little bit of daylight, I want to um, run the fuel through here, see how bad it is. If it's good enough to start, we'll go ahead and start it, and this will conclude this portion of the series. And it's not completely dark. Now that filter's not clean either. All right, let's go ahead and hook it up and see if we can turn this thing over. So the old fuel pump broke off, like the nub broke off. Okay, we started, we can't run it for long. 
because I don't have any of the I don't have the water hooked up at all. Okay. You can put your clamp on there. Interesting enough, this thing's on again. All right, I'm gonna put the little camera by the exhaust and the big camera up here, so maybe we get like a cool exhaust effect. All right, fuel pump on, make sure we don't have any leaks. Boat on. Get some little pumpers. One more pump. He runs! Leaking right here! water or anything so we can't run it for too long but that concludes the test and this episode thanks for watching and hope to see you next time